Hi, today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use text in Photoshop. So I've got my document open and the first thing I'm going to do is to click on this text icon over here. This brings up a little rectangle with a symbol inside it and it also brings up a small menu bar at the top which details what sort of text you want to the font you want to use. Um, what options that font gives you, how, what size your font is, whether you want that font to be sharp, crisp, strong or smooth, whether you want it indented to the left, right or centre, colour of your text and whether you want that text to be shaped and also a short menu bar that does almost the same thing over here. So the first thing to do is to allocate roughly where you want your text. It doesn't matter because you can move it to a later date. It's very flexible. So if I just click on my document and type Now once I've typed that you can see that there is a cursor at the end which allows you to continue typing if you wish and it's also underlined. If I do want to continue typing I can simply press the return button if I want to type underneath and it will continue to type in the centre because we've got the centre indent icon highlighted. Okay, if I'm happy with my text as it is, I can either click on this tick icon here or I can simply check somewhere else in the document. That will take the lines and the cursor away. Your text is now over here on this layer where you can just see a short um, sentence of the text that you've typed in. What this does allow you now is if you go to the move icon or press V on your keyboard, it will allow you to move that text around your document. I mean, it's extremely flexible. You can now move your text around your document and you'll notice that lots of pink lines appear which will demonstrate where your text is in the document. So you can see here as I move the text very carefully over it's now in the centre as the centre line has appeared. Now you may want to put some more text in your document that isn't related to this text here. So if you simply go back and click on the text icon and you click somewhere else in your document, you'll see that the cursor comes up again and a new layer has appeared. If we decide that we want to change the text colour, we can simply go up, change the text colour, click OK and begin to type. OK. So now we check the tick icon and we've now got another layer with our words up here. If we click the V on our keyboard or check the move icon, we can now move this separately from the top text. Again, moving it around and centering it. Now in order to edit this text or the other text, we need to ensure that we're on the layer of the text we want to edit and we need to ensure that the text icon is checked. This brings up our square icon again. If we double click at the end of our text, we can see that the cursor comes back up. Now this allows us to either continue to type or we can highlight the text that we've already typed and we could edit that text so we can go up and we can perhaps change the font we can change the size and we can change the colour with whatever we want and then if we're happy with that we just click the check icon again clicking on the V we can then move our text around wherever we want inside our document. Okay, if we now decide that we want our text to be inside a box, it's very easy to do. 
say we want to put this text here inside a box. This is the text up here. We click on the layer below, and come down and check new layer. And here we have a new layer. So if we decide to put it inside a shape, let's say, we click on our shape, I'm happy with this shape, and it brings up another icon on our document. We simply click and drag and it brings up this blue dotted line. If we right click inside the box and click make selection, then we can feather it if we choose to do so and click OK. If we then go up to edit, we then go down to fill. We can fill with a colour, so click colour. This will come up with your colour options. I'm going to fill mine with grey. Click OK. Click OK. And now you have your grey box. To get rid of the marching ants, simply click Command or Control D. It will get rid of the man marching ants. If we decide that we want to put our text in the box and move them together instead of independently, because at the moment if we click on this layer, we press the move icon, you'll notice that only the box moves. And once you've got all of your text in your box where you want it to be, often it's frustrating if you then click on something, move it, and it moves the whole thing. So if we click on our layer, then we press the shift key and click on our text. If you go to Control or Command G, it will now group those two layers together. So if we are checked on Group, we can then check the or the Move icon and simply move the entire text together because those are now in a group. What this does allow you to do is to go back and edit each portion of that group rather than merging the two layers together, which is destructive which means you can't go back and edit it. It means that if I wanted to edit my text, I could simply go back to the text layer, click on the text icon, highlight my text, and simply change my text. And so, so on and so forth with the box. If I decided that I wanted to put my text inside a border and just have a black layer around it, which I will do for this top text here. I can click on the text layer. I can go to the layer below, which is the background layer, click on new layer. Then if I go up to this icon here, which is my rectangle marquee tool, I can then drag, click and drag. If I then right click inside the box, go down to stroke, it will give me a variety of options. So I want my black line to be about three pixels wide. I want my box to be gr uh, black, but you can choose whichever color you like. The location is the center of the line, which means that the stroke line will go to the center of this marching ant line rather than outside or inside. My blending mode is normal and I want it at 100% opacity. Click OK, and you can see now, Command, Control D gets rid of the ants. You can see now I have a border around my text. And again, if I want to edit this border, if I want to move it, I press V on my keyboard or the move icon, and I can move that round. If you do find it, it's a bit clunky. If you press the Control key, then click. Sorry, if you click and then press the Control key, you'll find that it's a lot smoother when you move things around. Again, if you want those to move together, simply check on the layer, then press the Shift key, check on the layer above, Control or Command G puts it into a group, and now when you move it, it will move as an entire group. There are many other options with using text. If you double click, on your text layer, it will bring up this layer style and blending options. 
this is where if you wanted to put a shadow on your text and play around pattern overlay actually if I just zoom in pattern overlays there's lots of different options that you can use if you want to use a gradient over your text and all of these have numerous different options and it's just a case of going in and playing around with the various different sliders as to how you want your text to appear. And that's just a case of going in and having a play depending on what style you want. So that's just a short video to show you how to use basic text in Photoshop because I know when I first started it was really difficult to get my head around how to go back and edit the text once I got it into Photoshop, which layer I was on, where the text had gone, which layer it was on. So as long as you're checked on the layer of the text that you want to edit and the text icon is highlighted, you can then go back and edit your text. If those two aren't checked, you will end up doing something else bizarre to your document. But once those are checked, you'll be absolutely fine. Good luck and I hope this has helped.